Hello everybody and welcome back to Fish. Stop. <laughs> welcome back to Slush Bandy Care. And um today we're going to be doing a toy collection. Stop eating that stop eating my toys. Shit. <laughs> go, go. Go on. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So um I'm gonna start off with the things that I that I, um, sorry if you hear any background noise, by the way, um, just try to ignore it. <sighs> okay, so, I am going, let me see if I move this, if it'll make the video quality a little bit better. No, that just makes my face look stupid. Okay, so, sorry about my glasses. I look even worse than with them all. It's okay though. Um. Okay, so, I have a little pin in my hair because I cut my hair and this side's too long, so. Um, first are my Funko Pops. Um, I have only three. Uh, Vegeta from Dragon Ball. He's my favorite character. I love him. Yes. Okay. Um, and then I have Bug Cat and Cat Bug from The Bravest Warriors on YouTube and Verve. Totally recommend. It's a really great show. Um, not for the younger people. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, then we're going to uh, go on to my Tsum Tsums. Um, I have some plushy ones. This one. She is, uh, Ariel. The mermaid Ariel. And she talks. Hold on. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Um, and then I have three from Star Wars. Um, a Stormtrooper, Yoda, and, uh, C-3PO. I haven't watched Star Wars in years, so I don't really remember it, but, I mean, I saw these and I was like, hey, might as well add them to my collection, you know? Um, I'm not, like, claiming to be a fake fan or anything, I just, I used to watch it as a kid, and I literally haven't watched it, like, as a bio kid, and I haven't watched it in years, so, like, I don't remember what any of it was about. But that's okay. So the last one I have is, um, this Mickey Mouse one. Yeah, and that's it on the plushies. And then I have a bunch of these, um, the hard little collectible ones. Um, all of my big ones, I only have three big ones. Um, I have Hero from Big Hero 6, uh, Pumbaa, and Woody. And then my medium-sized ones are these guys. I have Nala. Eeyore, who I think is, like, super cute. He's, like, my third favorite one. Pooh, who's also blushing, and it's super freaking adorable. He's, uh, my, uh, second favorite. Moana, who's my fourth favorite, because I love her movie a lot. Um, Ursula. And then these two came with, like, little sets. So, yeah, okay, this one is the Scream Canisters with Randall from Monsters, Inc. And then this is Skull Island. That's my cat, Fish. Hey, Fishy, can I have a kiss? Thank you. <laughs> she likes giving me kisses. But uh, Skull Island and Captain Hook. Captain Hook is, like, he's just so adorable in this form. He's one of my favorite villains, too. Oh no, I dropped him. Okay. And then, if you look here, I have tiny ones. And this screen canister actually opens. See? And on the inside is Boo! Come on out, Boo. Boo! She's so cute! Ah! And she fits right inside of here. And it's just so freaking adorable. Um. And then I have three others. And my all-time favorite Tsum Tsum and I want the medium and the large one of him, is Bambi. 
I just freaking adore it. It's so small and it's so cute. And like the bigger ones and the giant and like the plushy ones that are like freaking huge are so freaking cute. And I want it so bad because Bambi is like my favorite Disney character. Plus, well, Disney character. And then he's my favorite Disney like character that's not a princess. He's not my favorite princess, obviously. But, um, <laughs> you know, if he was a princess, he'd probably be my favorite princess, but he's not. And then I have, um, Peter Pan and Nick Wilde. Yep. Simpsons are adorable. And then I have these three little things. I don't know what they belong to. I forgot. Um, I got them along a, a little while ago, and I can't remember what they're called. They're super cute, though. And they're just little Monster High uh, blind bag collectibles. Um, they look like little plushies. They're hard, but they look like little plushies. And they're, like, adorable as heck. But I can't remember what they're called, so. Oh, well. If any of you know, you know, feel free to tell me. Because, like, I'd like to collect more. I just don't remember what they're called. So, um, the other ones that I collect, but occasionally play with... Um, are my Monster High dolls. I used to have a lot when I was a kid. Like, I collected these when they first came out. Like, um, they came out when I was, like, I think, like, 13 or 14. So they've been around for a little while. But, oh, I love them so much. They're so freaking cute. Um, and they're just, they're so cool. Like, these are the, the I've never liked dolls. And these are the only dolls I have ever really liked. So, like, Yeah. So this is uh, one of them. I keep her on the stand because she's kind of special because a friend gave her to me. And um, she's uh, the bone one. I can't remember her name, but um, she's very special to me. She's really pretty, in my opinion. She's like, she's really pretty. Um, if you take off her clothes, like, she straight up has, like, ribs and stuff. Like, it's so freaking cool. And, um, yeah, so she's one of them. Um, I used to have a lot more, like I said, um, but I started to, uh, do, like, doll customs, where, like, I take Monster High dolls and I make customs from them, um, so I don't have as many as I used to have. I still have all the parts and stuff that, because I haven't sold any, but I don't have all of them. I kept the ones that I really liked a lot, though, that I didn't want to, like, destroy, <laughs> So, yeah. But this is another one. She's the daughter of the Phantom of the Opera. And she's just so pretty. She has, like, a little face scar that goes down to her arm. And she's just, like, so pretty. She's, like, dice. She has, like, dice on her heel. She's, like, piano and, like, you know, um, like, dice-themed. It's so cool. You know, it's, like, weird and cool. You know? Yeah. And then my all-time favorite one, I, there are more that I want to collect that I wouldn't, like, customize. But I just don't have the money for them because they're really expensive. But, um, like, I really want the hybrid ones and, like, the mermaid ones. They are just so freaking cool. But, like, none of them will ever replace how freaking cool this one is. It's the daughter of the Mothman. And her hair is up into pigtails. Um, and she has, like, this little moth crown, and she has antenna, and her eyes have, like, honeycomb in them. You can't really see it on my camera. And her body is, like, segmented to look, oops, to look like a moth. Like, even her arms are, like, detailed as heck. But my favorite part, and get this, she's the daughter of the Mothman. Her dress looks like moth wings. My favorite part. She has wings. She has moth wings. Like, how freaking pretty is that? That is just... And they move. Sorry. Sorry, my cat. Okay. But, like, they move and stuff. Isn't that just... Oh, it's so, so freaking cool. Oh, my gosh. It's just so pretty. Like, she's just so pretty. I just... Oh, oh, I love moths. They're so cool. Anyway, okay. So that's all the ones that I collect but don't normally, like, actually play with. Just real quick. What the heck 
was that? Okay. Anyway. Oh, sorry, my feet are falling asleep sitting on this dang floor. Okay, oh, my hair thing, my hair clip fell out. Okay. <laughs> um, so, next on to, um, the ones that I collect, but play with a lot. So, we're going to start off with my My Little Pony collection. This is my biggest one. It's Applejack. Applejack is my second favorite. Um, there was a Rainbow Dash one, but I didn't get it in time. And hopefully if they have it again, I'll be able to get it. Um, because she's my favorite. Rainbow Dash is. Ra Applejack's my second, and then Fluttershy's my third. I don't really like the other three, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, she's pretty big, and, I, and her hair is brushable and stuff. I put it up because she usually sits on top of my Xbox, and I don't want her hair burning off or anything. Um, so I put her hair up, but, you know, I normally play with her. She's really cool. Um, and then I have, like, a medium big one, which is, like, slightly smaller than her. Um, this is Royal Ribbon. Um, she's pretty cool. She's not, like, a main character or nothing. I play, excuse me, I play the game that this goes with. It's pretty okay. Um, it could be better. But, uh, yeah. And then I have um, some old gens that I had when I was a kid. Um, and in my toy box, I'm going to open up my toy box and get the others, the other old gens that I have. Hold on. Okay. So. Um, these two are not normally out and displayed because I don't like them as much, but my old gens include Bluebell, who I think was originally a girl, but younger me made her a boy. So, she's a boy. <laughs> she's a trans boy. Um, and this is Bluebell. Um, she also has marker on her, but don't, don't mind that. And then we have whatever her name is. I think I started calling her Sparkle Heart because I literally cannot figure out who this is. But Younger Me accidentally got marker on her as well, and I just pretended that that's, like, she has, like, a burned or, like, crushed up leg, so, like, she can't walk on it and stuff, so, like, she's special. But, yeah, this is an older Gen 2. Not Gen 2, but, like, an older generation. Um, I really don't like this shirt. It's a FNAF shirt, by the way. Oh, and I have a Pinkie Pie necklace on today. And my fox ears, of course. <laughs> so now on to my favorite old older generation ponies. Um, this is the original Scootaloo. Which, by the way, when I watched the new show, I was really mad to find out that they did not make Scootaloo a seamstress like she was supposed to be. Because literally, this is her. This is Scootaloo. She also came with a scooter when I got this toy as a kid. She came with a scooter. This is Scootaloo. And as you can see, she's supposed to be a seamstress. It's a butterfly with stitches in it. I know her story. I had her book. She's a seamstress, which made me mad. And she will always be a seamstress. I don't know who this new Scootaloo is. She's adorable as heck. She's one of my favorite background characters. She doesn't have the right cutie mark. And this, my friends, is the original Sweetie Belle. This is a singer. The original Sweetie Belle, who is this, by the way. This is her cutie mark. It's not, this is just like extra, like this was like a limited edition. But like, her cutie mark is that. She is a singer. It even hints in the freaking show that Scootaloo is a seamstress. Um, Sweetie Belle is a singer, and Apple Bloom is supposed to be an artist, I think, or, like, like, she's really good with backdrops and, like, costumes, not costumes, but backdrops and things like that. So, like, 
I don't understand why they gave them the Cutie Mark Crusaders matching Cutie Marks. Like, I don't understand that. Because this is who Sco- this is who Sweetie Belle's supposed to be. This is who Scootaloo is supposed to be. This isn't supposed to be a rant about My Little Pony. Anyway, so I'm pretty mad about that. I like the originals better. But that's just me. And then, this is one of my fa- This is my favorite one. Um, I've had her for a very long time. And her name is Sunny Days. And she has a little uh, sun and rain cloud. And she was my favorite one as a kid. I, I don't know why. Um, I don't really know her story that well. But she's definitely really cool. So, yep. Now on to the newer toys that I have. Oh, wait. And then I have this really tiny one that I don't know what it is. And it's kind of chewed up by a dog. My uh, mommy found it, um, like, out in the dirt. It was just random luck that she happened to see this and pick it up for me. But it's a really teeny tiny old, old gen pony with a flower cutie mark. I can't figure out who she is. Um... But she's adorable. She's slightly chewed up on the feet by like a dog or something. But I mean, hey, she's still adorable. So I ain't complaining. I like her hair. It's all like fluffy and all over the place. Okay, now on to the newer gen. Um, all of these ones are my favorite ones that I tend to keep out and display. So we're going to start with my favorite pony. Rainbow Dash. Here's a Rainbow Dash. Here's another Rainbow Dash. Here's another Rainbow Dash. And another. I'm pretty sure I had more, but I guess not. And then here is who I believe to be Rainbow Dash's mom, um, but I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, it's this, it's this, this beauty right here. And then we have my third favorite pony, Fluttershy. Ta-da! Then I have another one, who's pretty much the same, except their eyes are slightly different. If you notice, this one has droopier eyes, which I think is more adorable, personally. But, yeah, I like I like Fluttershy a lot. And then, we have my second favorite background character, DJ Vinyl Scratch, or DJ Pond 3, whatever you want to call her, I guess. But, yeah, she's pretty cool, too. And then, we have... My favorite princess, Princess Luna. (laughs) Okay, so that's all the ones that I usually keep out and display. Now we're going to get into the ones that I keep in here that aren't usually for display. So we have Princess Celestia. And another Princess Celestia. This one's bigger. And she's pink. And then we have a sunset sunset shimmer. Okay, and then we have a um twilight sparkle she's my least favorite pony by the way i don't like her at all um i think they could have done better with the princess of friendship like anyway um so yeah there's twilight without wings and then i have a twilight with wings and a crown this is her with wings and a crown then I have her without the crown, but with wings. And I have a Lyra. Um, 
Pinkie Pie. This is a jointed Pinkie Pie. This is pretty cool. Cheerly. Um, Rarity. And Rarity's little sister. Without the cutie mark, thankfully, there's no cutie mark on either side. Uh, Sweetie Belle. They're like the perfect size. It's so cute. Um... I don't know. I think this is a McDonald's toy. I don't remember. Hold on. Yeah, it's a McDonald's toy. Um, Rarity. Another Cheerly. Um, Another McDonald's toy, uh, Twilight Sparkle, with her wings, and it has a button, and the horn is supposed to light up, but the batteries ran out, so. That's okay, though. And then, oof, your ponytail, girl. Um, the, uh, Esquestria Girl, um, Fluttershy. Not really my favorite, but, I mean, it's still cute, so. I don't really like how her hair is, like, plastic. And then, not plastic. Like, that just doesn't make any sense to me, but, you know, to each his own. So that was all of the My Little Pony toys. Um, now we're going to get into the other toys. So I have a um, Hello Kitty little toy right here. Yeah. Um, then I have a whole toy box right here. So we'll just... Let's kind of speed run this. Have a Nerf gun. Doesn't have any bullets. I ran. I uh, lost them all. Um, a little rattle. Looks like a butterfly. A uh, dragonfly. A goat. And another goat. And a dinosaur. Bucket. <laughs> but it opens up. And a little pet shop um, keychain with a little pupper in here. And then in the ball is a little bird. I have some little um, toy Furbies that just roll. They don't actually talk or anything. They're not like real Furbies, but I mean, they're cute, so whatevs. Um, this little thing. Doesn't actually move or anything. Um, well, it does if you roll it, but that's all it does. It just barks and push its nose. Um, power. Puff girl. Yeah. This is a. This is a. Can't remember who it is, but it's from Strawberry Shortcake, and she has a little teapot. Claudine Wolf. This is a monster truck. Um, and you push down its head like this. And the wheel the wheels roll. Yeah, it's really cool, I know. Maybe. What? It's time to take your melatonin. You gotta give me a minute. I'm recording. I have a dinosaur. Another dinosaur. Another dinosaur. A little seal. Another dinosaur. This one's kind of derpy. 
<laughs> Another dinosaur. I like dinosaurs if you haven't noticed. This is a hippo. It doesn't do nothing. It doesn't even roll, but it like makes clicking noises. And this opens. Wait. It's your little hippo. And then mommy gave me these. These are little wooden trucks that she had when she was a kid. Ever since I was born. Ever since she was born, she said. And she gave them to me because I guess she thinks I can take good care of them. I will, because they're special. And then... I have some bath toys. I'm gonna get them all. Oh, here's another ball for the dinosaur. Uh, what? Okay, so I have a lot of ducks and a lot of bath toys. So this is an Easter duck. A yellow one. And a teeny tiny itty This These ones are pretty small, but this one's teeny tiny. It's blue. And then I have a little frog that if you squish it, it shoots water. And it's really cute. I get a lot too. And we got two more dinosaurs. This is one of my favorite ones. It's a mirror. Say hello. Whoa, that's cool. And it's a turtle. And it has shapes. And does that. And this one is a ball. Oh, it's a ball and on the inside. And it's a bell. And then this side crinkles. This one's a rattle. This one's a bell. This one's squeak. The head squeaks. And this side crinkled a little bit, but not a lot. And then, the cool part is also that you can stuff him inside. Hold on. Boop. See? Boop. Boop. It's kind of hard, but it's okay. I can do it. I'm a big boy. See? He goes inside and he hides. And then, this part is really cool because it makes noise and it's like the keys. And yeah, he's really cool. I like him a lot. And then I have, these are also kind of bath toys, but they're trucks. And I really like my trucks. I, I like them a lot. Oh, and I also have a boat. <laughs> then I have a Oh! Oops, I gotta press the button. Hold on. Boom. Mm, you wanna fight me? Bam. Bam, bam. I'm not good with sword fighting. I always lose. It's okay, though. Ow! Yeah, like, Sorry if the, if the thing keeps, like, pausing for you guys. Whoa, and I have this little phone. It doesn't work. You're supposed to, like, shoot the ball. It's really easy. Even I can do it. Then I have this little kid thing. I don't know what it is, but um, the head comes off. And then you can, like, spin its head to give it a different expression. And, like, the body comes off. So you can change its clothes. It's kind of weird, but it's okay. Uh, then I have this monster high doll. And I have a uh, buttercup. And I have a sheep. And donkey. 
I have a lot of toys we can't tell. Oh, and then I have Frankie. Yeah. And then I have a whole bunch of zoo animals. Oh, here's another dinosaur. Um, I have a tiger. She's kind of derpy. I like her. Then I have a lion. And a bear. And an elephant. Oof, my leg. I have this little baby dinosaur. Rawr. And these are bubbles from when I graduated. Back in 2017. Ooh, I'm so old. Whoa, magical. One more. Wait, it didn't work. Ew, it popped on my mouth. Ew. Okay, enough of that. I tried bow bubbles and it popped in my mouth. Oh, no. Oh, okay, so this is... This is like a little dragon guy. I don't know what he's from. I think it's Pete's dragon. I don't know. But it's a little dragon guy, and he opens his mouth and breathes fire. Mm. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Ta-da! Then I have this little camera. It doesn't actually work, but it's really cute. And I can see through it. And on the inside, finish, go away. You're going to knock my camera over. Go. And if you look through it, hold on, let me see if I can do it for you. Hold on. Like you can see there's a little picture inside and if you click it, the picture changes. See? It's really cool. Then this is a little ball shooter. Hold on, let me get a ball. So you put a ball in it and it shoots. It. Oh no, I lost the ball. Oh, there it is. Never mind, I didn't lose it. It's really cool. I got it from McDonald's. You go, you go, boom. Just a lever. Um, I'm not going to take all these out, but I have a whole lot of these little... And then I have a little Tinkerbell without any wings. And I have a little Polly Pocket, I think, without no clothes. But that's okay. And then I have a, uh, a little baby lamb. And a little lion. Fishy, stop it. Better not knock that camera down. And then I have a little giraffe. Oh, and I made this. It's not supposed to be in there, but I made it. It's a little dinosaur egg. With dinosaurs in it. Fishy, stop. Go away. Go. Thank you. But, yeah, it has little dinosaurs in it. It's real cute. I think so. And then I have... Uh, I have had these things since I was a small boy. Um, I have another one, but I don't know where it's at. But they're like little bracelets and they turn into animals. So see this is a bracelet. If I can grab it. It's a bracelet and you put it together like this for it to be the bracelet. Hold on. You pull it through like that and it's a bracelet and it has a little face and a little tail. But then if you take it apart like that, what you can do is you can twist it together like this.
Hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna get it. It's been a while since I since I did this. And then you get a little animal. Ta-da! And it does it for all these. This is a cat. This is a little rock star cat. And this is a little punk rock star, like, another cat. And then this is like a little hippie puppy. And this is, this is my favorite one. It's a little crystal fox. And then I also have a zebra. That's somewhere. And it's really cute. I really like the zebra, but I don't know where it's at. baby bear and a lion and a little dinosaur looking race car and another little race car that I got out of uh, one of those chocolate egg things it's not a kinder egg it's like a different one that a friend sent to me a long time ago and this is a naked, um, uh, Cinderella. And then this is a, um, Winx, a Winx doll. She had wings, but I don't know where her wings went. But this was a Winx doll. And she's really cute. And then... Zebra and another race car and a little uh, leopard, little baby leopard. This is one of my favorite ones. I think his derpy face is really cute. And then I found the zebra. It's a really cute zebra. It's like heart themed or whatever, and it's really pretty. And then um, I have like this little this triangle puzzle thing. But I lost a piece to it, so it doesn't go back together no more. But it's okay, because I think it's still really cool to, like, play with. So, I kept it. Oh, and I have, have this little block puzzle, too. But it's not broken or nothing. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> like, I can't figure it out. Because, like, all the pieces turn and stuff. And, like, I, I tried numbering the sides, but that didn't help me at all. So, I don't know what to do with it. But I kept it, because why not? I bet Mr. Puzzle could figure it out. Probably. He's, like, super smart. Heck yeah. Okay, and then, Ouch. last but not least, I have my favorite thing in the world, which I'm going to show you all my favorite ones. Um, I have, as a kid, I used to love these, and I, I still do, but I, I don't collect them as much, because I still have, like, almost all of them that I collected as a kid, because I was, like, obsessed with these. Um, but they're called Lilith's Pet Shops, and <laughs> I'm going to show you all my favorite ones. So, this is a little corgi, but, um, I used to pretend it was a fox, because I couldn't find a fox one, but it's a little corgi, and it's really cute. Look! Haha. <laughs> yeah. That's adorable. I named can her, her can Todd. You, can you hand me your laptop? It's plugged in. Hold on. If I let me wait, give me one minute. <laughs> and then this is a little deer, mommy. Look. Huh. And it's I. Like you. Yeah, and I called her Bambi as a kid. my favorite one but um I have a whole lot in here but I don't want four 
for you guys by showing off all of them. Okay, so then we have this is freaked out because I just thought he was so cute and I wanted him really bad. And then hi fish. She was underneath my couch. But yeah, this is Leo. And then his wife was this little kitty cat right here. This is Tiger Lily. And she's a cat, but she is, like, really pretty and, like, really sweet. And she has, like, a little flower on her back. And she's just so sweet and cute. Um, and then I have this ostrich. Another one of my favorite ones. And this koala. Ooh. This one came off of a McDonald's toy from when they sold these at McDonald's. And I cut it off the toy and kept it. So it works. And then I have this little wolf. Who's one of my favorites. He's really old. I've had him for a really long time. And this is his girlfriend. Um, she looks like a wolf, but she's another one of the McDonald's toys that I cut off the toy part. Like, they had bases, and I didn't like the base, so I took them off the base. But, yeah, this is one of them. And then, a butterfly. And a bunny rabbit. And a punk rock lizard. And a flamingo. And a beaver. <laughs> and a moo cow. And it has a little bell, which I think is super cute. This is one of the newest ones, or newer ones. And I don't really like the new ones that much because... As you can see, this one isn't a bobblehead, and the old ones used to be bobbleheads. Like, they were all bobbleheads, and like now the new ones aren't bobbleheads, which kind of makes me sad. Because I really liked collecting them just because they were bobbleheads. Like, it's just, like, how, how is, like, the shaking of the head just not the freaking cutest thing you've ever seen? Anyway, and this is one of my very oldest ones. Like, I've had this one for the longest time. Um, it's one of the very first ones I ever got, and it's a mechanical one. So, all you gotta do is just push down on it, and it, its little tongue comes out to lick its paw. Isn't that adorable? Oh, and I have a lot more in here. I won't go into detail. Okay, and then this little house goes to, like, these little, like, uh, these little tiny, like, little squishy guys that are up there that I totally forgot to bring down here to show you, but, um, this little house belongs to them. And then, um, oh, dang, I forgot one of my favorites. Well, two of my favorites. I forgot them. Oh, no. Okay, um, I also have this peacock, and I have this, uh, I think it's a border collie, but I can't tell, but it's this cute little guy, he's so cute. So yeah, and then this little thing is, this, is like a skateboard that they can ride on, hold on, see, they have like little holes. The really old ones had uh, magnets. Hold on, let me see. Like this one has a magnet. And then this one has a hole. So yeah. And this is like a water toy that has like buttons on each side. And it, send, it makes your electricity make the fins move. So yeah. And then a little lion and a little teeny tiny lion and a little teeny tiny little rhinoceros. So yeah, that's all the toys that are in my toy box. It's a lot. Um, most of them I've kept since I was a little bio kid. Um, just because, I don't know, I could never actually get rid of my toys. Like, I 
wanted to and I tried to a couple of times. I just couldn't do it, you know? Like, it just made me really sad. Like, seeing them almost get thrown away. So I'd always run back and get them back. Like, heck no, you're not taking my toys. Like, I need those. What if I have a kid one day and I want to give them my toys? Which isn't actually the reason. It's just that I wanted to keep playing with them. But shh, don't tell me that. I'm just kidding. I'm open about my regression. I don't care. I'm an adult. I can do what I want. And it helps me cope. So, <laughs> I'm trying to put them all back before I show the rest. Because if I don't, Mommy might get mad and I'll forget. I'm just kidding. Mommy doesn't get mad at me a lot. Oh, you were actually looking at me like, what? I don't get mad at you. <laughs> it was a joke. Ha 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 ha. No, it wasn't, guys. She gets mad at me a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. She doesn't actually get mad at me. She's the best mommy ever. She's really sweet. Um, okay. And now. Last but not least, I think. Okay, last but not least. Um. So just recently, I started collecting cal calico critters, and I mean, since they're technically toys, and I do play with them, I'll show them here. Um, this is one of their houses. This is the basic uh, cottage. Um, just like an up story, a down story, the up story can be taken out and made into a front lawn. So that's pretty cool. And then the door opens and closes. And then I got this boathouse, which is really cool. And it came with a lot of parts. Um, and it opens up into like it has like a pool opens up with another pool and it has a grill right here and like um beds and stuff and then the beds oh this part goes down too and there's like, like a little kiddie pool to view the fish in and the beds turn into a shower dang it like that Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, eventually you guys will be able to see it when it's, like, um, like, put together and everything. And then the most recent one I got is probably my all-time favorite one. Um, it's this, it's the tree house. Um, it has a little birdhouse right here. Stop. And this little cottage comes off, and you can, like, go in it and stuff. And then it has like this upper platform and then the tree trunk. This part comes off a lot. Um, and then on the inside it has like two more floors and then a lawn. And then right here you can hook a, um, a basket that can go up and down. And right here on this branch hooks a, um, a swing set. Or or a, a, like a swing. It's really cool. So yeah, and then in this box right here is all my calico critters. Um, I don't have a lot of like the animals. Like this is just the animals. And then all of this extra is like all the furniture and like the little parts. Like the slides for like the boat and like the beds and stuff. So... As you can see, I personally, like, glued, like, the beds sets together and, like, did all that kind of stuff. Also, there's a little island for the, um, there's a little island for the, uh, the boat. So that's pretty cool. Um, and here's the basket. See? So yeah, eventually you guys will see all that. Um, I'm not going to show all that today because it's not really important. But these are all my little families. I, don't, I have a lot of babies because I didn't 
I got a lot of babies like two Christmases ago and never got any parents for them. But um, these are the Outbacks. They're koalas. And there's a little baby koala. And then this is the big sister koala. These all came as one family. And they're super cute. Um, and then this is the first one I ever got. And um, she was the only one I had for the longest time. She came with the house, um, the starter house. And um, she's pretty cool. And then this is her sister. Um, she's the captain of the ship. Um, as you can tell by the little she shell. She's pretty cool. And um, she has uh, some babies. Um, she has a lot of babies that she raises by herself because she's a single mom. She has two boys and two girls. Oop. She has two little boy bunnies. And two little baby girl bunnies. And then this is Mama Chipmunk. She is the uh, the daycare instructor of the treehouse. So she watches after all the babies. Um, and she sometimes gets help from the mama rabbit. But her babies are these these three. She has three little babies um, by herself also. She's also a single parent for now until I get dads. But she has these three little babies. A little boy, a little baby girl, and a little baby boy. So, yeah. And then um, I have... These babies, I have little hedgehog babies. They're super uh, like soft and cute. Then I have two little, um, they're both a boy and a girl. And then I have a little girl and boy um, puppies. Uh, golden Retriever puppies. They're really cute. They don't have any parents. Neither do the hedgeho hedgehogs yet. And then I have this super, super, super adorable. This is my favorite one, I think. And this is the only one I have, and I can't wait to get her family. Um, a little girl, white cat. She's really cute. And then the last ones I have are these uh, boy and girl um, pandas. So, yeah. They're cute. And that's all I have um, regarding calico critters. Um, I want to collect more. Trust me, this is something I'm going to, like, collect until I have all of them, and plus some. <laughs> so, yeah, be expecting more on that. Um, uh, that's all of my toys. Um, I'm finally done after 54 minutes. I think I have too many toys. <laughs> but Mommy says I need more, so. I'm spoiled. Um, not really, though, because most, the majority of the toys that I have, I've had since childhood. Even... The My Little Pony ones. Like, I got them over time um, before I even, like, really started being into age regression. And a lot of the toys that I showed you from my toy box, I've literally had since I was a bio kid. Since I was, like, freaking six or seven. So, like, that's as far back as I can remember. Um, so, you know, a lot of them I've had for a very long time. But, um, the ones that I have gotten recently mostly are because I want them and I like collecting toys and I also like playing with toys because, again, I'm a, I'm a regressor and, you know, I like playing with toys. Can't get me wrong. Um, a lot of people will probably say, oh, but you have a lot of girl toys. Yes, I do. What's wrong with that? I like playing with girl toys. I like playing with ponies and I like playing with dolls. Well, not really dolls that much, but I like playing with, um, you know, Lilith's Pet Shops and My Little Ponies. And I like playing with, like, Hello Kitty toys and, like, you know, occasionally I'll play with a doll or two. But there's nothing wrong with that. You can be a little boy and play with dolls and ponies. It doesn't matter. Um, I also have some cars and I have some trucks and stuff. And, you know, I like them. I, and I have a lot of dinosaurs, if you haven't noticed, and I really like playing with those. Those are, like, the best. <laughs> anyway, Mommy seems to be annoyed with me talking so much, so I'm gonna go. This video has gone on for long enough, and probably no one's gonna watch it, but that's okay. I like making content anyway. Um, so I will see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed, 
And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And hit that bell notification to get uh, notified whenever I upload or live stream. Um, and if you want, go follow me on all my, my social media. I will be putting all of my social media down in the um, description. Hopefully by tomorrow. I'm probably not going to do it like right away. So, yeah. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you'll join me next time. Alright. Uh, remember to enjoy the little things in life. And have a nice day. Goodbye.